Hi again. All right, here we are on homework problem number 10. We did 1 through 9 on the previous video. We're simplifying the cube root of r squared over 8. And that's going to give us the cube root of r squared over the cube root of 8. And eventually you'll memorize, if you haven't already done it, that the cube root of 8 is 2. So this is going to be the cube root of r square, that's all under the radical, over 2. Now, I know that this is completely simplified because the power inside the radical is smaller than the power outside the radical. All right, so that's something to remember. Now, let's put the answer in. Have to move the calculator over. All right, I'll click on the answer box. And, oh, we're going to have, this is going to be interesting. All right, watch this. First, I'm going to take the cube root. Then, I'm going to take the fraction key. Then, uh, so, somehow or other, I have to get r squared in here. Da, there. Okay, so I'm going to have r, and here's the square, so I'll put it 2, over the cube root. Oh, oh, no. No. All right, we go back and we start over. Boom, boom. We're going to do a fraction because the ra only the radical, only the radical is on top right there. Okay, so up here we're going to do the cube root, cube, 3, r, and then hit the exponent key or tool. So I'll have 2. All of that over 2. Now let's see if it's right. Yes, it is. Okay. There's a lot to memorize here, so you're going to have to pay attention and even take notes. Okay. Now the negative sign out front is a negative 1. All right, so what we're going to do is look at negative 1 times, so here's problem number 11, negative 1 times the fourth root of 81 over the fourth root of x to the 12th. We're going to treat these differently because 81 is a perfect fourth root. 81 equals 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So let's practice finding fourth roots in the calculator. I'm going to turn it on, turn it on. There we go. And remember that when you're doing a fourth root, uh, from 4 on up actually, you, you tell the calculator, all right, I want my index to be 4, then I go to math, then I go here to 5, the x root. All right, and the TI-83s won't look like this, but the TI-84s do kind of morph into this. And so the fourth root of 81, I'm going to show you, is, is 3. Hit my right arrow and then enter. See, the fourth root of 81 is 3, but the calculator can't help us with uh, the fourth root of x to the twelfth. We're going to have to take the fourth root of x to the twelfth and change it into a fraction power, x to the twelve over four. What is twelve divided by four? It's three, x to the third. So our answer is going to be, well, the fourth root of 81 is three, and the fourth root of x to the 12 is x to the third. 
and don't forget your negative 1 out front. So our answer is going to be negative 3 over x to the third power. Now I'm going to put that in the answer box. Right there, move the calculator. All right, I'm going to have a fraction. Oh, and I'm going to have the negative first. Life is easier if you put your negative first. Excuse me. I'm going to have a 3 up here. Down here, I'm going to have an x. And I'm going to raise it to the third power. So let's check our answer. And yeah, we got it right. Remember, you can always replay any part of this video. Okay, so we're going to go on. Now, I happen to know that the fifth root of 32 is 2, but you probably don't know that. So let's go ahead and work this out. We're going to have the fifth root of 32 over y to the 25th. This is exactly like the other problem, almost. We're going to take the fifth root of 32, and you're going to take the fifth root of y to the 25th. You're going to have to use rational or fraction powers on this, but up here we can find the fifth root of 32 by going to the calculator and let's clear it and saying 5 because I want that to be my my um, exponent that I'm going to go to math and then I'm going to why don't I arrow down to 5 this time where you have the x root and I hit enter and now I'm going to take 32 because I'm looking for the fifth root of 32 and there it is so oh yeah right arrow key and then enter. And it's 2. The fifth root of 32 is indeed 2. The denominator on the other hand is going to be y to the 25 over 5. And 25 divided by 5 is 5. So our answer is going to be 2 over y to the fifth power. Now let's put the answer in. fraction 2 over y, looking for y, and then the exponent key, fifth power. Let's see if I'm right. Excellent. I love it. Love it. You get in a rhythm. Now, this is where it starts getting hard. This is where you have to know what your perfect roots are. All right, we're on 13. We're going to look at 18. I need the square root of 18, but not a decimal answer. It says type the exact answer. And a decimal is not an exact answer. It's an approximation. So you have to know what your perfect squares are. You know that 9 is a perfect square. The square root of 9 is 3. So the square root of 18 is going to be the square root of 9 times 2, which is the square root of 9 times the square root of 2. The square root of 9, well, that's going to be 3. So our answer is going to be 3 times the square root of 2. And that is the exact answer. So my answer is going to be 3, and then square root radical, and then 2. 3 times the square root of 2. Check my answer. And that's correct. Okay, it helps to know your times tables also. 14. Again, I know my times tables. 14 
is the square root of 28, but I know that 28 equals 4 times 7, and I know that 4 is a perfect square. F the square root of 4 is 2. So I'll have the square root of 4 times the square root of 7. The square root of 4 is 2, so I'll have 2 times the square root of 7. Okay, now, uh, 2 times the square root of 7, so I'll have 2 square root 7. Check answer. Very good. Let's go on to 15. The square root of 1,000, well, 15 put 15 over here. Negative the square root of 1,000 is going to be negative the square root of 100 times 10. 100 is a perfect square. This will be negative the square root of 100 times the square root of 10 the square root of 100 is 10, so our answer is going to be negative 10 times the square root of 10. Okay, so let's put the answer in. Oops, that was negative 10 times the square root of 10 check my answer. Excellent. So I think you can see that now is a really, really good time to learn your times tables. If you haven't before, you can learn them now. Because 12 will break down, here we have number 16, but what it is is negative the square root of 12. 12 will break down in a bunch of ways. 6 times 2, for instance. But 6 and 2 are not perfect squares. If you break down negative 12 to 4 times 3, however, 4 is a perfect square. The square root of 4 is 2. So we'll have negative the square root of 4 times the square root of 3. The square root of 4 is 2. So the answer will be negative 2 times the square root of 3. So let's see, negative 2 square root 3. Check answer. Okay, 17, same idea. Ah, but is it? What does 35 break down into? I will let you figure that out. The cube root of seven, uh, 750, work on it. The cube root of negative 80, you're allowed to have a negative under the, uh, under the radical when it's a cube root, so work on it. And 20, work on that. 21, work on that. 22, I'm going to take a break, and we're about to start working on letters. I'll be back. I hope you'll be back, too.